Hi, I'm Dr. Sunny and these are my bright ideas in public speaking. One of the biggest problems I see in students in public speaking is a lack of facial expression. Sometimes students even tell me, that's just how I am. I'm not very expressive. In public speaking, that's not gonna cut it. Public speaking demands a more formal level of delivery than everyday conversation. It means a formal level of preparation for both verbal and nonverbal delivery styles. In fact, most speakers are so worried about what they say that they forget how much of communication is made up of the nonverbals. Way back in 1971, UCLA professor Albert Moravian published his book, Silent Messages, where he discussed his research on nonverbal communication. He found that most people assess speakers' credibility, in his study it was salespeople, largely on nonverbal communication. Dr. Moravian found that nonverbal language accounted for over half of how people evaluated the speaker's credibility. Less than 40% of credibility was based on verbal delivery, leaving just 7% to be decided by the content of the speech or the actual words. Moravian called this the 7% rule. It's often misused because Dr. Moravian never really meant for this to apply to speeches, much less everyday conversation. His research was on a speaker's delivery of a single word. However, the research does reveal an important element about communication. Over half of it is nonverbal. You can prepare and practice the best speech in the world, but if you deliver it peering into your webcam with a blank expression, your audience will be confused and conflicted about your motivations for speaking at all. Most people are very natural and use engaging facial expressions especially when they prepared and practice a speech for a topic that they're passionate about. It's why I suggest you give speeches on topics that inspire you. It'll show in your face and it'll make you a more credible speaker.